Welcome back everybody, Tatashi Pazu here bringing you more Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, as we left off, I started the Inquisition. Well, I guess not necessarily me, but it was Cassandra. Because, you know, Cassandra's such a spiteful person and I went invisible. Yep, okay. It's only been like... Okay, I guess it has been a while. It's been a week. It's been a week since I last had a session for this. But, uh, yeah, I think it'll be fine. Let's see. Talk. Crafting. Okay. Crafting stuff I will do off screen if I do happen to pursue it. How can he see me? Is that my eyeball? Can I see my eyeballs? That is not healthy. Like, you can just see, like, just based on my eyeballs. Um, how's the new gear fit? Quite well. Yeah, I noticed that you, uh, you clothed me. Did you do it when I was sleeping? Or did you do it when I was standing there just waiting for it? Hey! Aw, my daggers don't match. That's upsetting. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. He's saying something, but I can't hear him all that well. Oh well. He needs to learn to speak from his chest, you know. Uh, can you improve my equipment? Oh wait. Do you have any designs? If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Let's see, acquired scout coats. Take a look at it on the table there and yeah. talk. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, be done with all of this area if that's wait. Okay, I'm gonna try and get. Can you help improve what I've been trying to say is that I want to do like yeah. side quest mission that it has here. I want to grab that real quick and then I'll continue on with whatever it is I'm doing. Because right now I just need to get a little more accustomed to New Haven or Haven, whichever it is. This isn't Borderlands, but um, so basically. Um, in the mini map that I have, which I don't remember which part of the screen it is, but uh, there is a uh, what is it? 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 Oh yeah, there's diamonds. There's diamonds in the mini map, which indicates that there is a uh, quest of sorts. Uh, am I supposed to be looking at you? No, I'm looking at you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it just wants me to go through like the tutorial. So uh, uh, I'll do the crafting tutorial off screen because that's not particularly exciting, and neither is me wandering around town. But uh, one of those two has to happen. So, unfortunate for you, um, not necessarily unfortunate for me, and I've got, is that Liliana up there? Wait, is it Liliana? I think it is. I think that's her name, right? The rogue chick? The roguey chick? Uh, nope, it's just Thern. I thought Thern was a dude. I don't know, Thern sounds like a pretty masculine name to me. Maybe, I don't know, Thorn would have been a little more uh, feminine, I guess. Guess technically, if you find what or maybe that's I'm saying that only because of Battleborn. By the way, super excited about Battleborn. Um, what did you mean when you although it's a shame that they pushed it back. I think they pushed it back to May, which is really unfortunate. I was really looking forward to that game. Um, I played the closed technical test uh, for Battleborn um, like last month or something like that, and it was really it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Really liked it. Although I like how they say that it's not a MOBA, although. You can't help but say it's a MOBA, but then again, I only played one uh, one game mode, and I won't be going into too much detail. I'm not sure if I'm still under the whole um, disclosure agreement or not now that the technical test is over. But just to be on the safe side, I won't go into too much detail. Other than the fact I wanted to go on record and say that Orendi and Melka are my favorites of that I have played. I played each character that they had available for the beta for the technical test. Don't get confused with beta. It was a technical test. And, I don't know. I really clicked with Orendi, but then when I got the chance to play as Melka, Melka's abilities are Does a lot closer to my playstyle. But I like Orendi as a character, and her abilities are really, like, well-meshed for a variety of situations. For, uh, that's the way I feel. Um, I'm fine. It's fine. Not really. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the Breach. You've given us time. It's always nice to have a stable Solas pimp hand. The second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same Her lips level are very glossy. To open the breach in the first place. Did they have, did they have lip gloss back then? Easy to come by. Then again, I don't even know what time period is supposed to be like. Oh, uh, that sounds dangerous. Couldn't that kind of power just make things worse? And <laughs> people call me a pessimist. Mmm, power. Chikara. Or Shikara. I don't remember which is pronunciation. May I don't know I if it's she or chi. Cullen, I'm talking about Japanese, by the way. 
Sorry, I go it's through I there, go right? through languages in my head to see can I say that? Do I know how to say that? So that way I can uh, kind of focus and keep track. Although I have realized that it has taken me longer to respond in Spanish, which means I think Japanese might be overwhelming my secondary language, which is really unfortunate because I would like to keep it all all together. Have yes. all that knowledge, that all the possibilities, so that way if I were to happen to go to a country or meet someone that speaks that particular language, I can maybe help them accust, be like become more accustomed to the living situation here, if they're from like out if they're from out of country, or maybe I go visit I like some place and that happens to be the native language in the area, and that way I don't get like horribly confused. Although I think most places are pretty friendly to tourists. Might destroy us all. I don't know. Templates I've never left the country. The I've never left the United Weakened States of America, except for, I well, I guess the contiguous, I well, no, I left the contiguous United States of America. I haven't left the, yes, I haven't left the United States of America. I have been you, off the mainland because um, I'm originally from Hawaii, but I now live in, um, I that now live in long. Illinois. Shouldn't they be busy so I, over who's I've going to become come a pretty far away. Um, I didn't live in Hawaii for long, and I spent most of my life here in Illinois, which is, which is not a bad state. Not a bad state. I come from a small town. Not really much to do unless you, you're you're an active person. If you're an active person, this is a great place to be, because there's a lot of like open air, open air, open space to go do things, like for like activities and such, like. Um, so, if I wasn't with so like, if you, position, like, go running, we have plenty honest, of trails and things like that, does, no but as for, like, other activities, like, if you want to, like, I don't know, option. it's not really a place nearby to go hunting, so you have to go, Country like, out of town for that, which, I mean, I've, I've never went hunting either, so, I mean, I've been perfectly fine with this town. Um, just kind of wish there was a little more to do, or maybe if I just wasn't so, uh, Uninteresting, I guess, would be that. Because I don't have many hobbies aside from playing video games, so I mean, well, I say it's a hobby now. Well, yes, playing video games is my hobby, but I have been making efforts to try and uh, actually create my own video games, and this is a really long cutscene situation here. But I have been trying to uh, learn. Uh, okay, so, long story. Well, not a really long story, but here. Um, so pretty much, let's go to Ferelden. I have been learning code since second semester of my senior year of high school. And hopes that I can follow my dreams, which is to make video games for a living. And that frame rate was really low just then. So what I uh what I've worked on for that whole semester was like a mini game, like not necessarily a mini game, but like an arcade style game, get from point A to point B. Not necessarily a platformer, since it's all played on a single, singular level. But, uh, so I worked on that type of game, I made it from scratch, I made it in the Unity engine, and I used what little code I did learn from that entire semester to actually put that all together, and it turned out pretty well. Everyone that I had uh, play tested said that they, it was really enjoyable, and surprisingly it was a lot more addictive for them than I thought it was. I guess it wasn't that addictive for me because I was the person that made it, so, uh, I don't know. Whoopsies. Cassandra, get in there. Confirm. Whoops. Confirm. But, um, so yeah. Um, it was, it was, it was really fun. It was a really fun thing to do. Um, I also did with my friend, Sham Warrior. I've known him since, uh, freshman year of high school. So, we've, we're pretty close. And, uh, what he did for says what we what happened was we made an independent study which lets us pretty much get an elective credit for creating our own class and the class was game development and what he did was he um helped me make the music for the game just like you know short little tunes cuz he had some knowledge of how to uh make he know he knew how to transfer like actual key notes like through MIDI and put it into like a file that's usable and I don't know we got like a small little project going and people that knew about it thought it was really cool 
And I still want to continue to do that, so in college now, I am currently studying computer science so I can get myself more familiar with, like, the structure of codes and things, like how things interact with each other on, like, a basic level, and then hopefully I can build up... What the hell was that? I'm not the only one that saw that. Like, something just, like, zoomed by. I can't say I have. I'll I'll put a replay of that. I'll put a replay of that, because I don't know what the hell that was. But, so... Um, I'm starting to worry about these stories we put we put together the game and well, now we go to the same to college they only obviously the last that's great hope for why Shamwar and I oh, have been doing wonderful. a Diablo together because we're also roommates so makes things really easy and simple fixing things. and I'm pursuing from Red I'm still trying to learn more code I haven't I done anything recently here. with unity and people always I've been trying to get myself back into it so that way because I kind of put it on hold because I wanted to learn things first and then take time after to analyze what I've learned and try to put it into another project and hopefully I can get something a little more a little more like on steady ground I guess of what I was trying to say and as for yeah, you best also I'm missing e e anything that she is. Saying. It's there. It is there. It is again. I'm not. I'm not insane. I'm telling you. But um, so well, okay. Here's marker. Word for you. Report. What is it? This could help. Train of thought has been derailed. Um, let's see here. Can I jump off of this? Can I? Nope. Okay. So, train of thought was college, working, solid ground, and hmm, nope, still can't think of it. Watch your step. The idea, okay, I guess what I was trying to say is that I have been Mama working to uh, kind of get better. Uh, God damn it, I'm just too in tune to gathering things. But I've been basically just trying to work more and um, getting more experience. Um, and if anyone happens to, to like to, uh, like I don't know, know, give me a few pointers or anything like that, I'd greatly appreciate it because I haven't, I haven't been experimenting too much lately, and it's just been like one. It was honestly like it was really fun to learn all of it, like all that stuff in one semester. But it was really like really hard to do, like because I had no one teaching me. It was just all like self-taught. So it was a lot of work. But I still think I I do not regret it one bit though. It was an amazing time. I just kind of wish like I had someone that could like check my work and like make sure like this is how things work and when things didn't work they could instruct me like oh this is what happened this is what went wrong and this is the reason why so that way I have a clearer understanding of like what exactly is going on. Now, I understand like for this entire like first segment that uh, I've been doing a lot of just like random babbling about uh, me as a person which may not be interesting for you but I feel like at some point in time, that may be like, I don't know, a good like a good thing to have, just like just to be there, because maybe some of you who are actually interested in like who I, who am I, who is Tadashi Pasu as a person, and those are pretty, those are my ambitions, and I am pretty stuck on it. I'm not like, now like no offense to anyone, but there are people that are like, oh, I play video games a lot, I should make video More games, which honestly really kind of pisses me off, like. Again, like, no offense to, like, anyone, but, like, when they think of it just like that in just those base terms, like, that's not necessarily all that it takes for you to become a game developer. It requires, like, that, like, intuitive instinct, like, hey, this is something that, like, really intrigues me. Like, this is something that I would want to do, not like, oh, it only makes sense because I play a lot of video games. I mean, just because you watch a lot of movies doesn't mean you should make movies. Again, don't mean to offend anyone that might be that way, but I mean, that's just how I feel about it. And like, I don't know, games, there's something about it like that really inspires me. Like, all of this, creating your own world, making every, like, when I made that little game for myself, and I'm not using my abilities at all because I'm too busy talking, um, when I made my own game, it all, it just, like, it all just, like, I don't know, it was really wonderful. 
and I don't really know like how else I could describe it. It was just something amazing. We are big. And I just really I don't know. The whole the whole thing was just a wonderful experience and I'm really glad that I got to have it. Um as for like like for me games inspired me when I was little because they were able to create a world that is unknown, a world that was something different, fantastic. It was able the ability to create this, this fantasy, this game, in fact, where magic and, uh, like, different races like elves and kunari exist, like, it's all, like, a fantastical idea that's actually put into a visual format that you, the player, can interact with. It's it's amazing in my mind. It totally psychs me out sometimes, like, because I honestly forget sometimes that this is just a game, but... I get, I immerse myself so much into it that I, you all, I start to forget that, and I realize these people aren't real I know yet. People like you and me have created you. such a game like that it gives you that Some feeling, that it gives you this sense of immersion, of and games like that like really inspire me because terrified. I'll be honest, like outside so of games, I have not very lived a very exciting life, but. Altogether, like, what happened was all the experience I've gained from video games, all the things that were are impossible in our reality, can be made a reality within video games. And I believe that is just something that is incredible. Literally, games can bring your dreams to life. That's that's the way I feel about it, and I think it's an absolutely wonderful thing. And that's why I really value video games so much in my life. It's just they want an amazing you. thing. And, you think and you just walk up to them. I don't know. You are no longer alone. That's that's kind of the reason why you. I they could try. why I want to create video games. Way. Video games has sparked such an amazing, doubt. like sparked an amazing sense of creativity within me that. I want to be able to create games that can do the same for the younger generation. Something that they can play and they would it's think of you to do this. This, this is something I want to do. This is something that will make me a creator. Like I want I want to create a game that will give way for new creators. Because being a, a creator is an amazing feeling. Like Making these videos for YouTube, it's it's awesome. It's fun. It's very it's very um it's very entertaining. It's very fun, and I I love doing it. It's a lot of fun for everyone. Well, I say everyone, but I mean, well, I mean, I guess I can say everyone because I'm now involved with uh with Montes Montes and Double O Kinger, and start. Inventory. Okay, inventory. Do I? Have? No, I didn't get anything. But uh, I mean, we all enjoy what we do, and it's a lot of fun, and we keep posting content because we like it. And I don't know about them, but I just like being a creator. I like being a creator. I like being able to say, "Hey, this is my work. This is what I've done. I hope you guys like it." You know, it's just kind of like putting yourself out there. And I need to make sure I get myself a horse at some point, because in my first playthrough, I didn't get the horse until I was like level 10, and it was super dumb. But, I mean, like, being a creator, I would want everyone to give it a shot at least. Like, give them the initial spark to be, to be a creator themselves. I think that's what I want to do with my life, and I want to do that through what inspired me, which is video games. Tell me the, of the horse master. Okay, this is where I need to go. This is what I need to do. The horse. The horse. That is important. Very, very important. But, like, you know, if people, like, if they enjoy what they do, they should, they should do what they can to keep doing it. 
I mean, you may not be able to make a career out of it, but at least you can do it like as a hobby or something. I don't know. Maybe depending on how do I uh, check the map? That's not my map. Is that my map? Nope. Is that my map? Thank you. There's my map. Uh, is this horse? Yes. Let's go get ourselves a horse while we're at it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mosey on over there, but I'll keep talking. So my thing is that. Uh, I really want people to find something that they really enjoy, whether it's making videos, playing video games, making music like my friend does. My friend is actually, he's re okay. From my perspective, from my and I've only I only know how to play the piano and guitar, but my friend when he's at the keys of the piano, he sounds so amazing, and it really it's really an amazing thing because. He's written his own like his own songs, his own original songs, and it kind of like blows my mind that he put something like this together, and um, it's like it's just amazing like to hear him at work, and like being a creator like that or being an artist or anything really just if you if you enjoy it you shouldn't give up on it. Uh, I say that. But there are some things I would like to mention. Uh, drugs and such. Those things of those nature. If you do enjoy it, you should probably stop enjoying it because that will uh, that will lead to some heavy detriments in your future. I see Guaranteed. And there's a lot of things here. B. But yeah, I would I would strongly recommend that if you feel like there's something that you enjoy doing. You should at least try and find a way to make sure that you can somehow, somehow keep that in your life. Because giving up on your sense of creativity is a terrible, terrible feeling. And I don't know. It's just the way I feel. I, and I've been rambling for quite a bit about this. But I guess bottom line is, I want to be a game creator. I want it to inspire people. I hope that it will inspire you to also be a creator. That's that's the, basically the bottom line of all I just said. But yeah, so that's kind of my ideology when it comes to games and such. That is what Tadashi Pasu thinks. So I guess I'll uh, get back to talking more about uh, more about Dragon Age because I'm pretty sure that I probably should just bored like. I don't know, 90% of you to death. And I'm sorry, I lost my fans because of that. Because, you know, you can't watch my videos if you're dead, which is very unfortunate. Unless they have YouTube in the afterlife. And attack! I really like that flank ability, like just being able to... Eh, that's nasty. There, attack! But, like, their flank ability though, just being able to just launch yourself behind someone like that is awesome. And it looks really cool too. The animations in this game look like that little particle, uh, particle effect it was really cool too. Like as he like just slowly dissipates. Um, let's see. There's more people. There's a lot of death going on here. Oops. It's frozen. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I see. Uh, what's his face? Wait, that's not what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. Uh, Solus, that's his name. Solus is the one that's been freezing, though. Because he's an ice mage. I was more of an electrical mage, lightning mage, because, uh, I like the, uh, having the AoE advantage of the people. So while I could steadily whittle down everyone, I'd have a few select people, um, do the direct damage. So that way they can take down single targets and I'll slowly make it easier to do single targets by killing everyone. That's also how I like to play uh, my Magic, my Magic the Gathering games with my friends. Is um, I run one of the decks I really like to play against, like in a round table, is my uh, Green Black Constellation deck. Because pretty much what it does is I can sit there the entire game, just keep summoning creatures and win. Because the more I play, so the idea behind the deck is. I get a few creatures out, and then I play off of those creatures' passive ability, which is like for some of them, every time I play an enchantment, 
every opponent loses one life. Now, I can have that effect stacked with other cards of the same type, and then, not only that, every card I have in my deck is pretty much an enchantment, so every time I pay mana to go summon something, everyone loses at least one life. And then I also have cards where they lose life every time they draw, um, I also have cards that increase my draw probability every time I play an enchantment, so it just like keeps playing off of each other like that. And it's really funny because I don't really have to do much, I just wait for everyone to kill each other. Or I just kill everyone simultaneously. And it's incredibly funny. Like, I kid you not, if you've ever seen um, a Constellation deck in action, it is incredibly funny. Or at least from my perspective, it's incredibly funny. Because I'm the one using the deck. But, um, yeah, I also play a lot of, uh, well, I guess not a lot of anymore, but I did play a lot of um, Magic the Gathering with my friends. Um, I run, what is it? I run Abzan, uh, Green Black Constellation. I have a Black Blue um, discard. What else do I got? I also have a uh, Goblin Commander with a Krenko Mob Boss. And I also have a regular Goblin deck which is just basically the leftovers um, from my commander because I did originally start with the, uh, the goblin deck but then uh, I dismantled it so I can put together the goblin commander which is a lot of fun and uh, gotta say at times if I get the right combos out like early game I can nuke someone with only two mana the entire of the game and it's incredibly funny because I just keep dealing eight damage each turn and it's so sad when it happens, but I love it. No normal wolf would fight with such determination. The breach may have driven So he them says. Out. I mean, so or she says. The demon took command of the pack. Sally says she sells down by the sea. Sure! Okay, speak. Speak with Dennett. Uh, the master of horses? I wonder if I can find Epina here. What is this? Oh, Crystal Skull. I forgot that was a thing. Whoopsies. I keep thinking triangles the jump. Curse you, Fallout 4! Nah, I'm just kidding. I love Fallout 4. A lot of fun. I, suppose this I love be killing dead. everything. Because nothing can stop me. I killed the entire Institute. Of course, I, I quick say before that, but I killed the entirety of Institute with just my uh, my sword, uh, 60 stim packs, and the uh, DX-10B power armor. I think that's the model. I don't, I don't remember entirely. But, okay, I think that's about time for this episode, so I will see you guys in the next episode. This has been Dashi Pasu with the uh, Dragon Edge Inquisition, and an incredibly long rant about creativity. Um, if you like my content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And this has been Dashi Pasu, signing out. Bye, everybody.